Hello and welcome to your first remote lesson for Call of the Wild. That's what C-O-W stands for. So anytime you see this, that means Call of the Wild. So this is the true story behind the Disney movie Togo. So if you did the assignment from yesterday, um, you would have read the story about Balto and Togo and their um, 1925 diphtheria run um, for the serum to cure children of diphtheria, which can be in a way very much like covid um, so this is to be completed today. Um, if you check the PowerPoint for this, it's exactly the same as yesterday. So if for some reason you did not go through the PowerPoint from yesterday about what makes a good sled dog and whatnot, go through the PowerPoint today, please. I'm not going to show it again, but you can watch it definitely on your own. Um, the article that you need to read is down here. So just click the link and you can open the article up. It is not included in the form today. So this is the reading for the true story behind the Disney movie Togo, and this is some background. So diphtheria is a disease that peaked in 1921 with 206,000 cases. Diphtheria causes swelling of the mucous membranes, including in your throat, that can obstruct breathing and swallowing. Sometimes a bacterial toxin can enter the bloodstream and cause a fatal heart and nerve damage. So unlike... COVID, which affects the lungs, this actually affects the throat and closes off your airways. The Iditarod Trail is a national historic trail in Alaska. It began as a mail and supply route that ran from the coastal towns to the interior mining camps and continued to the West Coast communities uh, like Nome. So mail and supplies went in, gold came out, all via dog sled. In 1925, part of the Iditarod Trail became a life-saving highway for epidemic-stricken gnome. Diphtheria threatened and serum had to be brought in by dog mushers and their faithful hard-driving dogs. Throughout the years, the sled dogs were important to the day-to-day -day life in the villages and throughout Alaska. Dog mushing is a sport uh, or transport method used utilizing dogs, primarily Siberian Huskies. Often there is a team of dogs that is willing, uh, is pulling a sled, which can sometimes be used for races or for pulling cargo through the snowy areas. And a Siberian Husky is a thick coated compact sled dog of medium size. Great endurance was developed to work in packs. Uh, pulling light loads at moderate speeds over vast frozen expanses. This north, northern breed is friendly, fastidious, and dignified. Um, and you would have probably seen those in some of the videos and uh, whatnot on the first day. All right, so this is called The True Story Behind Disney's Togo. Think Balto saved Gnome Alaska on his own. Think again. A new family-friendly movie finally gets a legendary dog sled run right so this is by philip kiefer and it was from december 20th 2019 this movie came out last year um right as the pandemic was really picking up and i actually watched it before we went into the call of the wild unit and uh thought it was a really great story that i had never heard before so we decided to pull some of this information in to help us uh with the unit in the winter of 1925, a deadly illness struck the city of Nome, Alaska. The nearest stores of medicine were hundreds of miles away across the state's snowy interior. But you've heard this story. The 1995 movie Balto immortalized it for a generation. The eponymous dog railed the team that brought the life-saving serum through the Alaskan wilds, heroically saving the city's children. Since the 1920 or since 1925, Balto has earned universal acclaim, legions of fans, and a common uh, commemorative bronze statue in New York City's Central Park. But Togo, a new movie that hits the Disney Plus platform on December 20th, corrects the historical record in favor of an underdog. As it turns out, Balto was just one of the more than 100 pups who made that life-saving dog sled relay to Nome, Alaska possible. Balto did lead the canine team over the final 55-mile stretch of the journey, he was still leading the pack when it arrived in the city itself. But a different dog, Togo, ran more than double the distance of any other dog on the team and led it through some of the riskiest spots. Togo, which stars Willem Dafoe, promises to chart the life of the historically overlooked pup who made the crucial delivery of medicine possible. For all the dog sledding aficionados out there, we broke down the real history of Togo and Balto's now legendary run to Nome. 
The saga began when a doctor diagnosed the first case of diphtheria, a deadly illness, in a young boy in Nome in January 1925. The city located approximately 150 miles south of the Arctic Circle had a population of just under 1,000, um, which is slightly different than what it said the other day in the other article, which said it was 1,400, um, but, you know, splitting hairs here. Diphtheria was called the strangling angel of children because it released a toxin that shuts down the victim's windpipe. Young children were especially vulnerable to it. In the winter of 1925, Nome had a supply of antitoxin, the serum that you then used to treat diphtheria, but it had all expired. A vaccine was later developed that was virtually eliminated, uh, that has virtually eliminated the disease. The town's single doctor and four nurses watched helplessly as a three-year-old boy died, soon followed by a seven-year-old girl. They worried that the fatality rate for those infected would be 100%. Several years earlier, a flu epidemic had killed off half of Nome's indigenous people. So keep in mind, the Spanish flu, which was the last massive pandemic that we had, was around 1917, so that could very well be the flu that they are talking about. It could also just be something localized to Alaska. We're not sure. Nome's medical team put out a call for help and found that the nearest supply of serum was in the storehouse outside Anchorage. Trains could bring it to within around 700 miles of Nome, and the team had hoped bush planes could take it from there. But that week, record-setting cold weather and gale-force winds swept across Alaska, grounding the only rickety planes in the area. The people of Nome realized that sled dogs would have to carry the 20-pound package of medicine to their city through the storm. It was the only way. Enter our story's hero, Togo. And this would be the new realization of Togo here. Togo, who was already a champion racer at by 1925, but whose running days were largely behind him. He had been born a smaller-than-average puppy in 1913, but quickly distinguished himself as a sled dog, running 75 miles his first time in a harness. According to Gay and Laney Salisbury, the, uh, Salisbury's The Cruelest Mile, a 2003 history of the serum run, Togo was a living legend among Alaskan dog sledders, a natural-born lead dog, Although Togo was 12 years old in January 1925, he was still fast and strong. He was taped to anchor the serum, or he was tapped, sorry, to anchor the serum relay team. He was the best dog owner, dog owner, Leonard Sapala said, um, uh, that he had, I should say, at navigating sea ice and would often run well ahead of the team on a long lead in order to pick out the safest, easiest route across Norton Sound or other parts of the Bering Sea. The Salisbury's right. That talent served Togo well on the serum run. At one point, the intrepid pup led the team across 40 miles of Bering Sea ice on the face of an oncoming storm. No single dog deserves all the credit for saving Nome. To deliver the antitoxin, more than 20 mushers and 100 dogs carried the medicine from a train line near Fairbanks, where temperatures hovered around minus 50 degrees along the Yukon River, over a frozen bay, and finally along the Bering Sea coast. Still, Togo was arguably the team's most impressive canine in sheer distance. He ran more than 350 miles total, more than any dog in the pack, as well as heroics. Viewers of Togo might assume it most cinematic events are the product of Hollywood's creative license, but they would be wrong. In one dramatic scene, Togo has reached shore, but the sled with the medicine has gotten stuck on floating ice on the other side of the frigid channel of water. In a feat of athleticism and frankly undog-like ingenuity, Togo grabs the lead rope in his mouth and pulls the sled ashore. This, and we cannot stress this enough, actually happened. Here's another moment in the film that seems too good to be true, but is because of Togo's diminutive size as a puppy. His owner once gave him away to a family to keep as a house pet. Within weeks, Togo had had enough of domestic life. He broke through the window and ran back to the Sepala's sledding kennels, 
a scene that occurs early in the movie. Did the serum run to Gnome need a reboot? We came to Togo skeptical, but now we're sold. The original Balto film left out the journey's most interesting character. All right, so we'll pull up a copy of the movie trailer so you can see that since it's on your um, it's on your form. You could watch it on there or you can watch it on here. Intelligence, intelligence, stamina, stamina, courage, courage, and heart. My business is dollars. Is dollars. Is dollars. He's undersized. He's undersized. He's trouble. He's trouble. Well, good afternoon. Well, good afternoon. He's untrainable. He's untrainable. Let the sea bring to the breed. The bring to the breed. The heart of a survivor. The heart of a survivor. He outran every single one of them. He's not a sled dog. He's not a sled dog. He's a lead dog. He's a lead dog. What we have in our children is an epidemic. The death sentence. The death sentence. Okay, found a cure. Round trip is 600 miles. 600 miles. You see that storm on the horizon? Only one man and one dog can make that dog. can make that run. He's 12 years old. He's, He's too old. He'll never make that distance. Never make that distance. Get one more in your pump. Get one more in your pump. My guess is we don't find him until the fall. All right, Togo. All right, Time for us to find out who we are. Thought he lived for the slightly all along. What he lived for. So now that you've watched the um, video and you've read through, um, there is a blip for the movie trailer here. If you watched it on the video on this video, you can click yes, you watched it. If you didn't, please watch this first and then go on to answer the rest of the questions on this form. All right, guys, have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time.